I used to suffer from anxiety attacks. They were intense and they were frequent. And in a number of ways, they nearly ruined my life. My anxiety disorder grew steadily worse over the 16 years I suffered it. It seemed to gather strength over time, while my ability to cope with it gradually weakened. There honestly were times where I wondered where it would all eventually end. Things are different now. I don't suffer anxiety attacks like that anymore. I haven't for nearly two years, and my mental health is pretty much fully restored. It took some time for me to finally get better, although, to be truthful, time was something I had plenty of. Because 16 years of anxiety attacks, and everything that entails, wasn't going to mind an extra few weeks of the same. But by the time it had come to an end, my anxiety had shrunk to a shadow of its former self. I don't miss it. And why would I? Any type of anxiety disorder is just plain cruel. Anxiety kicked me around emotionally, mentally, and physically. Anxiety episodes themselves were often dreadful. Frantic, panicky, scared, worrying about all sorts of small details ruminating to the point of panic. Mentally, I'd go round in circles and just think myself into distress and powerlessness. Anxiety disturbed my sleep to the point I could sometimes wake up more tired than when I had gone to bed. And, inevitably, the misery of it all slipped me into occasional depression. Mild depression is so common for people who suffer from any kind of anxiety disorder. I simply couldn't recall the last time I felt relaxed or at ease. Retreating from life I tried so hard to avoid anxiety attacks that I retreated from situations and people that might trigger them. The problem was that, for me... There were so many possible triggers that I was in danger at times of becoming a recluse. My anxiety disorder made it difficult for me to make and sustain friendships. Career aspirations took a back burner too. I had to choose work where my bosses were completely understanding and where me being an emotional mess all of a sudden wasn't going to get me fired, which does restrict your options somewhat. Not the future I wanted. I often feared that the effect anxiety was having on my relationships might leave me lonely and without friends. I didn't want to be lonely. I especially worried that my ability to work and support myself would deteriorate as the condition made my mental health slowly worsen, and the physical cost. In terms of conditions that come from ongoing chronic stress, didn't bear thinking about. Because the ongoing stress of my disorder is known conclusively to lead to chronic inflammation in the body. And with too much inflammation, an anxiety sufferer becomes a prime candidate for inflammatory disease, which includes diabetes, fatty liver, kidney disease, arthritis, heart disease, and some cancers. So, as well as a deteriorating mental health outlook, physical disability was an ever-present fear. Doubting myself. All this made me wonder about me. What was wrong with me? Why am I like this? What must I look like to other people? What would they be thinking about me? I really did think sometimes that I was just a ridiculous person. I tried the usual remedies. I did everything I could to deal with my anxiety. Medications made some difference. They often, although not always, took the edge off the worst anxiety attacks. I took anxiety drugs for a while during my early years of this disease. Eventually, on my doctor's advice, I stopped taking them. I was glad to stop for two reasons. First, the side effects of the meds were similar to my actual anxiety. Agitation, sleep problems, loss of memory, poor concentration, even some confusion at times. Second was that meds don't address the actual causes of the anxiety. They only work on symptoms, so you remain ill even when you're drugged up. The underlying causes of anxiety remain firmly in place, forever chipping away at your chances of ever having a truly happy life. I didn't like putting all those drugs into my body. And I certainly didn't like the fact that those meds can become habit-forming, which is one of the reasons doctors try to get you off them as quickly as they can. So what next? So, like many anxiety sufferers, 
That left me having to use a variety of techniques to handle my condition. Some approaches worked from time to time. Nothing was truly reliable, though. I truly thought that reversing the condition was impossible. I was wrong. But that was my thinking back then when I was ill. In the meantime, I was pretty stuck. I had better days and I had really difficult days. I rarely had two better days together. After years of suffering like this, my anxiety disorder was making me grow tired and despondent. Bad news and good news. Even though I wasn't sure that an anxiety disorder could be successfully treated, it didn't stop me from searching for some sort of miracle cure. The bad news is that such a thing does not exist. There are, of course, people out there who say otherwise. They promise they'll get rid of all types of anxieties using a secret potion made from some secret tree root they discovered in the forest of somewhere like Panama. Other gurus offer remedies based on all sorts of exotic rituals and exercises, a kind of faith healing, if you like. I tried enough of them to know that none of these approaches offer a single shred of improvement to an anxiety disorder. There's good reason why these quirky, untested approaches didn't work. The people offering these remedies simply didn't understand what anxiety actually is. They just didn't understand that all anxiety disorders are intricate conditions with multiple layers of complexity. There's not a single pill or exercise a person can do that's going to make it go away just like that. To make a change to an anxiety disorder requires a deep understanding of all the strands that have tied themselves together to create that disorder in the first place. Thinking you can cure everything with a potion or a yoga exercise is just plain wrong. Still, the promises are made, and people like me, desperate for some relief, fell for a few of them. But now there's some good news. Really, really good news. If you're patient and gentle with yourself and willing to slowly work through science-based, research-backed activities, then your world can change. My world definitely did change. It changed forever. I didn't expect it to be this good. I sometimes can hardly believe that it is. I stumbled on all this by accident. Some years ago, I attended an anxiety support group where I used to live. We met weekly, and although it didn't do much to help with my anxiety, it was comforting to not be alone with the problem. It was on a visit back to that old neighborhood that I bumped into one of the group's members. Well, ex-member to be precise. Martin had suffered from a different disorder for me. He had OCD for years, and I remembered that he had a hellish time getting it under control. And although I couldn't completely understand Martin's world, my anxiety was generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, with occasional panic attacks, just to make life interesting. I do know he had struggled a lot. But while I still had very bad anxiety, Martin had nothing. No symptoms of OCD. No stress. No depression. No nothing. We stopped off for a coffee, and he explained what had happened. The pathway out of anxiety. In a nutshell, Martin had become in such despair of his condition that he tried out some natural remedies. If modern medicine couldn't help him, then perhaps alternative medicine could. Some of the different methods he tried had reduced the intensity of his symptoms, which meant that he could function better. Excited by this small progress, he'd gone down the alternative health rabbit hole. And then Marie surfaced with what he called a miracle. Having tried many routes, Martin had found a straightforward program that gave sufferers of all types of anxiety a clear but gentle pathway out of their problem and into repaired and restored mental health. All anxiety disorders are improved. Martin told me the method he used worked on these types of anxiety disorders. Generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, and similar types of excessive and uncontrollable worries. Obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and its four major profiles. Panic disorder, including agoraphobia and other intense experiences of fear or emotional discomfort post-traumatic distress disorder, and similar illnesses related to traumatic experiences, social anxiety disorder, and other debilitating social fears and anxieties. Martin explained that his condition had melted away bit by bit over time. 
he'd first noticed a slight lessening of the intensity of his symptoms, and then a reduction in the frequency. Over time, intensity and frequency reduced to just about nothing. I remember that at the time he was telling me all this, I think my mouth must have hung open. At times, he laughed at my expression. It's true, he insisted, and I nearly believed him. Of course, now I really believed him. Because I've had his experience with my own anxiety disorder. How it works. Martin told me he had been introduced to an alternative health practitioner by the name of Christian Goodman. Christian Goodman is the creator of a very successful anxiety disorder program that is producing outstanding results for many hundreds of people. It's this program that had changed Martin's life so dramatically. Now, I'm a little skeptical about alternative cures. I do mostly trust doctors and the drug companies. Not everyone does, of course. But Martin's advice to try out Christian Goodman's The End of Anxiety program came at a time when I was becoming increasingly worried about both my mental and physical deterioration. I had reached a stage where I really was prepared to try anything. And this seemed like a pretty good bet. My route out of anxiety. Christian's The End of Anxiety program guided me carefully through a set of activities that I could do at home whenever I felt up to it. As I worked through these activities over time, my anxiety gently melted away until it no longer existed. The program was simple, straightforward, and consistent of several types of activities. Daily Habits Some simple daily work that takes a few minutes, but which does some of the most wonderful healing I have ever experienced. When you feel like it activities, some thinking type exercises that helped me change my relationship with myself and my condition, these were transformative. One-off actions, simple but important things I only had to do once, but which revealed really useful insights into what I was suffering. Self-care habits, I didn't know much about how to truly care for myself until I learned it from Christian. In truth, I didn't realize how important it was either, until I actually did it. Among all the small but memorable victories I enjoyed with this program, I think self-care gave me the quickest release from my anxiety misery. Action Activities There are specific things you can do that, over time, make you healthier in the mind and body. Very simple, but once I started, I really didn't want to stop. So I haven't. Why stop doing what makes you happy? Beginner's Nerves I was nervous at first. Starting this program itself made me anxious. It's almost as if my anxiety was protecting itself from me getting rid of it. But there were two things I loved about this program. First, was that there was no timeline for completion, no schedule that forced me to do the things in a certain time. The rate at which I adopted these changes was decided by me and how I felt about them. Sometimes I did more work, sometimes I did less. It was like a dance. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Except that it was me who decided the rhythm and pace. Second, Christian cautioned me against placing expectations on myself. Things might improve a lot one week, but only a little the following week. That's okay. Your only expectation should be that you will follow the program as best you can. The rest will take care of itself. Some of the program's activities worked their magic at a very deep level. So, while they were very easy to do, their benefits don't reach the surface straight away. What I was doing was always working. I just had to be a little patient before I experienced the results. Getting started was so easy. Christian's plan was eye-opening and inspiring from the first page to the last. I had suffered my anxiety disorder for 16 years, and in that time I'd read books, countless articles, and watched hours of videos about anxiety. Nobody told me the things that Christian taught me. He opened my eyes to anxiety disorder and made me understand it so much better than I ever had before. Of course, the problem with so much exciting new information is this. How on earth do I apply all the stuff I'm learning here? The end of anxiety handles that question very neatly. First of all, Christian clearly explains the route of anxiety. He tells you what, the why, and the how of it all. 
Simple explanations, clearly made points, easy to follow logic. But then, Christian offers you a simple startup guide so that you can quickly make the learning work for you. You know the quick start sheet you get with a new phone or a complicated watch? It's like that. You want to get started now, not next week, so you need some simple steps you can start following immediately. His How to Get Started section told me what to do now. Then, what to do next. Then, what to do after that. And once I built up my own confidence in what I was doing, I did what I wanted when I wanted to do it. So long as I regularly did something, I knew my anxiety was going to lose this battle. And it did. The difference that made the difference. I'm not criticizing the standard medical approaches to the various forms of anxiety. Drugs, for all their addictive qualities and unpleasant side effects, do make some difference. CBT can make a difference, too, even if it eventually wears off for many people. And there are various self-management techniques that help us delay an attack, reduce it, or simply survive it. But none of these really get to the heart of what's wrong. None of these will ever make you better. One thing I learned from Christian is that anxiety disorders come from a place that can be very deep within us. It's not like a cut on your arm or a broken bone, something that can be clearly seen, easily diagnosed, and quickly fixed. Our disorder is hidden. It's complex. Tangled. The cause of the disorder, the way the disorder affects us, our own thinking about ourselves and our world, and the coping mechanisms we employ to cope with our difficulties— All these are layered into the disorder itself, making it deeper, a much less accessible problem. They feed into each other, creating a spaghetti-like tangle of fears, negative thoughts, and distress. It's impossible to see where one aspect of our disorder begins and another one starts. This is where Christian's program is so different from anything I'd experienced before. Standard medical remedies mostly address the symptoms, the surface of the problem. They get us through the day, which is a vital help, but we remain ill even when we're managing to function. Whereas, the end of anxiety works very gently on the underlying causes of an anxiety disorder. It gets to the foundation of the problem. It starts wearing away that foundation. Instead of drugging me out of my anxiety, Christian works on the inside, the source of that anxiety disorder. And once it starts doing its work, then the anxiety's causes, whatever they are for your type of anxiety, start to subside. Not because I'd medicated them out of existence, but because they had started losing their grip on my life. They were simply losing their reason to exist. Quick Anxiety Relief Christian understands anxiety disorders. Certainly he understands them better than I did. I suspect he knows more about the underlying condition than even my doctors. After all, he did in weeks what my doctors hadn't managed to do for me in 16 years. But he states clearly that this isn't a quick-fix cure, so you can expect to still experience your anxiety for some time, even while following this program. Things will improve. Attacks will become less frequent and less intense when they do occur. But while you're still getting them, Christian steps you through an excellent coping strategy that will dramatically reduce the intensity and the duration of the experience. It was a new coping method for me. I'd never heard of this particular way of getting through an attack. It helped me keep upright when things got tough, which meant I was generally in a much better condition to continue with the gentle work of melting away my disorder. I wish I had learned this years ago, but better late than never, I guess. How about you? I don't know how you are suffering. You may have a different anxiety disorder to the one I used to have. Or you may simply experience the same disorder in a completely different way. Either way, I imagine that you've reached a point where you just don't want it anymore. I empathize more than you might imagine. I do know what it's like. Anxiety disorder has no upside. It's a cruel affliction that simply eats away at our happiness and destroys our simple hopes for a peaceful, content life. We didn't earn our anxiety disorder. We don't deserve what happens to us. It isn't our fault. Yet, 
we feel that we're stuck with it for life, that our anxiety is as much a part of ourselves as our arm or our kidneys. It turns out, though, that this simply is not the case. As nearly a thousand people have now found out, we're no longer helpless and anxiety doesn't have to be a life sentence. With patience and the right guidance, we can gently ease ourselves out of the darkness and into the light. Christian Goodman's The End of Anxiety is that guidance. And the moment I decided I wanted to heal and that I was going to take those first tiny steps towards saving myself from a life of anxiety misery was the single best day of my life. Because everything that is wonderful in my life now is because of the decision I made then. How will it be for you? Well, you have your type of anxiety disorder. You experience it in your own unique way. So your own experience of anxiety is uniquely yours. There's nobody else quite like you. Which means your journey to healing might differ in some respects to mine. The key, though, is that you get on that path. This is what really matters. Once I decided that enough was enough, I had put myself firmly on that path. I wanted a different kind of life. One that was significantly calmer, more predictable, and which freed me to lead the kind of normal existence that so many other people take for granted. And that's my reality now. By following Christian's advice to the letter, you present your anxiety with an irresistible healing force. Over time, it has no option but to surrender. Christian's program is guaranteed. Hundreds of people have successfully used the end of anxiety to successfully treat their anxiety disorders. They follow the guide and allowed improvements to come in their own time. Their lives are now nothing like their lives were before. The change to their anxiety disorder, and therefore to their day-to-day happiness, has been quite literally transformative. There's no reason why it wouldn't be exactly the same for you. Which is why Christian offers you a complete money-back guarantee on his program. If within 60 days of purchasing the end of anxiety, you are not completely happy with the changes to your anxiety situation so far, then you can have all your money back, no questions. Christian makes this guarantee because he's witnessed so very many people gain life-transforming benefits from following his simple plan. Their health and happiness improves as their anxiety recedes into the background. They are relaxed, calm, and in control of their lives. They experience few or, in most cases, absolutely no anxiety symptoms. I wanted to know what it felt like to live my life without an anxiety disorder. I found out, and you can too. Click the link below and get your own copy of The End of Anxiety. All anxiety sufferers realize in the end that if we're going to heal, then we are going to have to play an active role in that healing. If you've endured anxiety for any period of time, then you already know that it isn't going to just disappear on its own. If you do nothing, it's yours forever. My anxiety had a cause, Yours does too. Your anxiety cannot withstand an approach that directly affects that cause. It cannot resist something that gently dissolves its grip on your happiness. Christian's research back methods gradually eased anxiety out of my life, so I know it works, and Christian guarantees it. If within 60 days purchasing this program, you don't agree that you are feeling significantly better than you have done for years, then you can have all your money back. I took Christian up on this same offer a little over two years ago. I'm a completely changed person, and I live a much happier, stress-free life. That can be your story, too. Take charge of what's happening to you, and then watch it change. Get the end of anxiety by clicking the link below. There's no end to where an anxiety disorder can take you. Over time, a sufferer's mental health deteriorates. If the condition isn't addressed head-on, depression becomes significantly more likely. That's not all. The condition eventually undermines physical health, too. Ongoing stress, an integral part of anxiety misery, releases stress hormones into the bloodstream. 
and ongoing levels of stress hormones in the body lead to inflammation and a host of related physical diseases. With diabetes, kidney and liver disease, heart disease, and various immunity malfunctions being the most common. I wasn't going to let this happen to me. First, my mental health was suffering. And then my physical health could follow suit. Enough was enough. I wasn't going to wait around until my health had deteriorated to the point of no return. I didn't want that regret hanging over my head. Once I made my decision to heal, Christian's program did the rest. It was easily the best decision I have ever made. If you've read this far, then I believe you've made your decision too. You've decided you're not going to suffer like this anymore. You've decided you're going to heal, which means you need the end of anxiety. Click the link below and you can have it.